We've learned that we can model the formation of the solar system in this period of time where Earth was being bombarded heavily. That's called the period of heavy bombardment. And with computer simulations, you can model what happens when an impact hits a planetary surface. And it's not much different from if you sprinkle Cheerios on a bed, which you would never do on purpose, but your kids would do this. And then you smack the surface of the bed. There's a sort of a, a recoiling effect and Cheerios pop upwards. It turns out Mars may have been wet. We know at some point it had water and fertile for life before Earth. And at this period of heavy bombardment, if it had started surely it would have been simple life. We've learned that bacteria can be quite hardy. So we imagine a bacterial stowaway in the nooks and crannies of one of these rocks that are cast back into space. In fact, if you do the, the calculation, there's hundreds of tons of Mars rocks that should have fallen to Earth by now over the history of the solar system. Maybe one of those rocks carried life from Mars to Earth, seeding life on Earth.